Hey everyone, my name's Tom and I'm going to be talking about my Sony FX3 and the handheld rig that I built for it. Now, the reason why I chose to add all this to my camera is that I found that um, the base model FX3 with the included top handle um, just left something to be desired. I felt that mounting, um, mounting options for monitors and things like that on the base FX3 just felt very off balance and and kind of flimsy. Uh, that top handle is made of like a strong plastic and I just don't trust it. I also find that I'm not using um, the XLR handle as much as I thought. I usually run audio um, microphones and things like that for interviews through a Zoom H5 or I'm using lav mics. So um, let's kind of get to the parts that I use for my build here and why I chose those parts. Everything on this build, um, with the exception of the monitor and the V-mount battery, is from SmallRig. SmallRig offers uh, a very wide variety of parts, and the best part about it for me, uh, I live somewhere a little bit more remote, is that all of those parts are available on Amazon with relatively fast shipping. They're also quite affordable, which is perfect. <laughs> I guess to start the whole thing off, um, the base of the build is built off of the FX3 uh, half cage by SmallRig. So the really cool thing about the half cage is that on the bottom of it, it actually has an Arca Swiss plate. So if you're using one of the newer DJI gimbals, um, that mounts directly to the gimbal. However, obviously that's not going to happen with a setup like this. It's just something to note about the SmallRig half cage. Um, some of the other benefits of the small rig half cage that kind of caught my eye was the HDMI um, clamp and protection with that. Um, if you don't have the cage, it is a full HDMI port and the cable is just kind of sticking out there. It could be bumped and it's just something that I would not want to deal with in terms of warranty and replacing. So the fact that it has this clamp here protecting the HDMI cord is a big plus. Another really cool feature of it is that it has a hot shoe mount right up top. Right now, I'm not using it. Um, I have used other variations of this build where the monitor is in front of the handle and I've used an onboard microphone, which is really great. Um, that leads me into the monitor itself. Um, so when I was talking about having onboard audio with a, a shotgun microphone or something like that, I was using it Ninja V on my previous build and the fans would kind of interfere with my ability to use onboard audio. Um, now the Ninja V is a really good monitor and I loved it. However, I found that I wasn't utilizing um, all the features that, that it had. I rarely ever used the, um, the external recording feature. Um, so I chose it to downgrade to the Shinobi. Um, the Atomos Shinobi is a very comparable monitor. It just doesn't have the ability to record to an external SSD. And that being said, it, it doesn't mess with my onboard audio. So the Shinobi is mounted to the camera uh, with a, a magic arm and that kind of gives me ability to, to adjust the monitor how I see fit, depending on where I'm shooting, how I'm shooting. And it is powered by the FX Leon, I have no idea how to pronounce it, the FX Leon Nano 2. So it's a 98 watt hour um, V-mount battery that's attached to a small rig V-mount plate, and that powers the monitor. And I'll get anywhere from like six to eight hours of battery off of that, which is really great. Um, it's also came in handy in that it has USB-C and micro USB up top. It's a really cool thing about that. I don't use it that often. You can plug a USB-C directly from the V-mount battery into the camera to power your FX3. Um, if you forget a phone charger as well, you can plug that in up top and uh, charge your, your MacBook or your, your iPhone off that, which is great. Another feature of the small rig half cage is the custom FX3 NATO rail that fits up top. So I have a bunch of other different small rig pieces, NATO rails and things like that, and I didn't have anything that would fit um, up top on the FX3. Um, this one kind of has a little angled cutout that fits perfectly around the record button, and I find myself using that piece or keeping that piece attached to my camera all the time. Um, on top of that, I use a small rig NATO quick release rail so everything can come off really quickly if I need to throw it into my case. Um, but that's kind of personal preference. There's smaller ones, bigger ones, whatever you're looking for in terms of a top handle, small rig has everything. Um, one of the main things that I would suggest looking for is a handle that does have mounting ports, mounting points um, on the front of it. So on the bottom of it, um, it's just a very on the bottom of the rig is a very simple uh, small rig base plate here with two 12 inch carbon fiber rails and that kind of ties up my build. So if you have any questions about parts, I'll try and leave links to everything below. Um, yeah, but hopefully you can take something away from this and uh, find a rig that works well for you.